And finally, on front page, recently in Stockholm, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences awarded physics' highest honor to John Clark, UC Berkeley. Mikhail H. Devereaux, Yale, UCSB, and John M. Martinez, UCSB, for the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit, end quote. The headline isn't just that quantum is weird, it's that a circuit you can hold in your hand behaved like a single quantum particle tunneling through an energy barrier and absorbing energy in discrete steps. That single leap turned a century of theory into engineering and set the stage for the next generation of digital technology. In 1984-85, the trio built a superconducting circuit with a Josephson junction. Two superconductors separated by a whisper-thin insulator. Under ultra-cold, ultra-clean conditions, billions of electrons moved as one. Then came the shock. The entire circuit stuck in a zero-voltage state, escaped by quantum tunneling. The proof? A measurable voltage appeared on the other side of the barrier. They also observed energy quantization. The circuit only absorbed, emitted, fixed quanta of energy, just like electrons in atoms, but now at macroscopic scale. It's wonderful to celebrate the way century-old quantum mechanics continually offers new surprises. It's also enormously useful. This was said by Ole Eriksson, Chair, Nobel Committee for Physics. This wasn't a lab curiosity. It actually expanded quantum's domain from atoms to engineered devices and quietly became the blueprint for today's quantum stack. Superconducting qubits, the workhorse of many quantum computers, quantum sensors, ultra sensitive measurement and metrology, quantum cryptography, next gen security primitives, or as John Clark put it in his first reaction, I'm speaking on my cell phone, and one of the underlying reasons that the cell phone works is because of this work. End quote. Two of the laureates are deeply woven into modern quantum industry. John M. Martinez led Google's Quantum AI Lab until 2020 and helped deliver the 2019 Quantum Supremacy Experiment. Mikhail H. Devereux serves as Chief Scientist, Google Quantum AI, while holding chairs at Yale and UCSP. It's actually the second straight year Nobel Science headlines intersect with Google's research orbit after DeepMind's 2024 chemistry win, underscoring how academic breakthroughs and industrial labs now co-evolve. Clark, on hearing the news, said this, completely stunned, it had never occurred to me this might be the basis of a Nobel Prize, end quote. He credits the many days of discussions in Berkeley that made the physics click. None of this would have happened without the other two, end quote. Martinez, reflecting on impact. Thousands of scientists now work on quantum computing and superconducting qubits because of those early experiments. That's the real legacy. And on what's next? Here it is. Building a quantum computer is harder than most think. It's a systems engineering and manufacturing problem now. End quote. It redraws the boundary of quantum, not just atoms and photons. Engineered circuits can show quantum behavior when designed right. It turns physics into product roadmaps, from potential wells and tunneling rates to fabrication yields, error rates, cryogenics, and microwave control. This is applied physics meeting semiconductor class engineering. It underpins AI's future compute. Quantum won't replace classical overnight, but 
for combinatorial optimization, chemistry, materials and sensing, it opens paths classic silicon struggles with, including climate modeling and drug discovery timelines that today's computers can't touch. Clark, Devore, Martinez, they didn't just confirm a theory, they handed engineers a playbook. From a handheld circuit that tunneled through an invisible wall to the chips now pushing the edge of computation, this Nobel is the bridge between mystery and machine, equation and engine. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. And well, with that, it's time to say goodbye from front page on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. Well, Front Page is brought to you by, well, MachineCon 2025, India's invite-only residential summit for GCC heads. And this is exclusively brought to you by AIM Network. Well, till we meet again on Front Page, as always, think AI, think AIM. Thank you.